We've seen a tremendous evolution with fractional lasers. That is, we started with non-ablative fractional lasers, which clearly did something, but they required multiple treatments and they didn't have any ablative. Now with lasers such as the Pearl fractional laser, this is a very unique laser. The unique wavelength of the Pearl fractional laser, 2,790 nanometers, gives us just the right ratio of both an ablative effect and a coagulative effect. And it's that right ratio that not only leads to the thermal induction of new collagen, but also leads to less bleeding. One treatment is required, and we get the benefits of a thermal effect in terms of induction of new collagen formation and its volumizing effect. Introducing Pearl Fractional with YSGG, combining the benefits of CO2 and erbium in a new ablative wavelength. Video highlights include history of fractional lasers, YSGG's unique properties and mechanism of action, the Pearl Fractional Treatment Procedure, its clinical efficacy, and patient results. Designed to be superior to current ablative fractional products, Qterra introduces Pearl Fractional, its proprietary YSGG 2790 nanometer wavelength. Pearl Fractional aggressively treats the signs of photoaging, including a broad range of deep dermal imperfections in a single treatment, with only five to seven days of downtime. Qterra's exclusive YSGG technology optimizes the ratio of ablation to coagulation. Early fractional lasers deposited heat deep in the dermis, but lacked the additional benefits of ablation. Consequently, four to six treatments were required. Current second generation fractional lasers are ablative, removing tissue through a series of micro columns. Some of these devices have certain coagulative properties, but until the introduction of YSGG, we have not seen the ideal balance of ablation and coagulation. Why is the wavelength critical when aggressively targeting the deep dermis? Wavelength enables control. The YSGG wavelength allows Pearl Fractional to maximize tissue removal through ablation, while simultaneously providing the benefits of a uniform, controlled zone of thermal coagulation and collagen stimulation. The cumulative effect of thousands of identical microcolumns being ablated across the skin optimizes patient results, treatment experience, and downtime. Let's discuss the ablation process. Ablation is the key differentiating factor between old, non-ablative technologies and today's fractional ablative devices. The laser heats the skin, vaporizing and removing columns of tissue. Simultaneously, it heats neighboring tissue, starting the coagulative process. Why does coagulation matter? If too little coagulation is present, as demonstrated with the erbium laser, the wound will bleed excessively and the benefits of thermal stimulation are not realized. For this reason, Qterra chose YSGG, a wavelength with a uniform and controlled zone of thermal coagulation. Too much thermal coagulation, as can occur with CO2, creates a thick layer of necrotic tissue around each ablation zone, forcing the use of small spot sizes. To ablate the same amount of tissue as YSGG, CO2 would require more spots. Unfortunately, this would not be possible without an overlapping of necrotic zones and the elimination of healthy tissue, leading to longer recovery times and a higher risk of complications. The answer to excessive thermal injury is Pearl Fractional's controlled thermal zone. With Pearl Fractional, each treatment column stimulates the body through a unique combination of ablation and coagulation. Histology samples taken immediately after treatment and four days later show deep ablation and rapid reepithelialization with a clear zone of thermal impact and collagen stimulation surrounding each treatment site. Over the next three to six months, the treatment continues to improve the skin through a long-term collagen stimulation phase. New collagen volumizes the skin from below, 
reducing or eliminating the signs of photoaging and deep dermal imperfections. The treatment effect, specific to YSGG, delivers clinical results with both operative ease and rapid recovery. Prior to treatment, topical anesthesia will be applied, and some physicians choose to augment topicals with other medications. A scanner controls the placement and density of 300 micron spots. Patients will re-epithelialize during the first two to four days post-treatment, and erythema will gradually subside over five to seven days. Following a single treatment, most patients will see a marked improvement in photo damage and their overall complexion. Maximum results will appear gradually over a six-month period. It's been about two months since I've had my pearl fractional treatment and what I've noticed about my skin is my skin just looks healthier. Um, the texture of my skin has improved dramatically. My skin is so much smoother, um, which makes a big difference when you're applying makeup. Um, uh, I've also noticed the volume of my skin. I've had increased volume, meaning um, it just looks a little bit plumper, which makes you look a lot younger. Um, and I'm also kind of really excited about you know, long term or, you know, a few months down the road because I've, I've been seeing a gradual improvement over the last two months. The Pearl Fractional Laser fits into the daily practice of aesthetic surgery and medicine. It allows us to improve all kinds of types of photo damaged skin, allows us to have a volumizing effect, and it's a huge adjunct to all of the other things we do in the cosmetic practice. Cutera. We have beauty down to a science.